We begin this hour in Thailand, where at least 87 people have been killed in a passenger jet crash. The Boeing MD-82 airliner was attempting to land at Phuket International Airport. Officials at the scene say the plane, operated by Thai budget carrier 1-2-GO, went off the runway, broke into two parts, and then burst into flames. There were strong winds and rains at the time, but officials say it's too early to say if bad weather caused the crash. Thailand's health ministry says 43 people survived the crash. Some of those passengers escaped by climbing out of the exit door onto the wing. The one to go flight was coming in from Bangkok. The airline is owned by Orient Thai Airlines. Some of the passengers were foreigners headed to Phuket on holiday. One survivor from Ireland describes the terrifying moments when the plane went down and flames engulfed the cabin. As the plane was landing, you could tell it was in trouble because it kind of kind of landed, came up again. The second time, just smashed. It really caught fire then. I just got badly burned to my face, my legs, my arms. Very, very sore, a lot of pain, my arms, thing. Just can't get my head around what happened. Let's get more now on the survivors. Phuket's Bangkok Hospital is treating many of the 43 crash victims. Hospital vector Dr. Kongyat Ketchape joins us now by phone. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. How many survivors are you treating? Right now we have uh, 30 patients admitted in the hospital. And what kind of injuries do they have? Uh, we have uh, four patients have a critical uh, injury. Two of them have a severe burn on the body, and two, they have a fracture of the femur, hip, and uh, rib. And all of them, right now, we do a surgery and save their life. The rest of the patient, they have a contusion injury, cut wound, and some of the uh, muscle uh, contusion from the I think they may be bumping or they may crash during the, the landing. So what do they tell you about their injuries? Uh, uh, did they suffer those fractures uh, when they were trying to, to get off the plane? Yes, some of them, uh, they tried to get off the plane and, and some of them have uh, a bit of problem of the seat and uh, problem of the crash of the airplane cause a serious injury to the patient. Those who are critical, uh, what kind of surgeries have they undergone and uh, what is their prognosis? Uh, for the burn patient, we do a scrub burn and for the fracture, we do the operation to fix the, the fracture of the, the femur and the hip joint. And the prognosis is quite good. Uh, the patient uh, is stable right now. But we have to observe them more than 24 hours because they inhale a lot of uh, smoke and uh, flame during the, the plane crash. And some of the gasoline, they may cause uh, complication after this to the lung. And how serious uh, are these complications and those burns to the lungs? And, and what percentage of the people you have have this very very severe, um, uh, very severe burn, and uh, which is uh, preventing them to breathe properly. Uh, the problem is they will cause the edema on the respiratory tract, and they may cause a difficult of a breathing. So all the gas that burn, we intubate and we use the respirator to assist the ventilation to keep an oxygen uh, in the normal way. Right now, everyone is in, uh, in good uh, condition. Dr. Kongyat Getafe, thank you so much for speaking with us. Good luck to you. A word of the crash spread quickly, worrying people around the world who had loved ones on board. One of the survivors was Eric Michlin. Earlier, I spoke to his mother, Maria. I think it's a miracle. He, uh, told, he told us at home that uh, the weather was terrible, the sight was almost none, heavy rain and windy. And uh, when they were up in the air, they, they thought something was not right. 
the pilot uh, had tried to land twice, I think, but before the second time, they, they knew that they were going to crash, and they, they formed into position for uh, an emergency uh, landing. And, um, well, and then it happened. Like Eric Nicklin, many of the passengers were foreigners. Here's a breakdown of their nationalities. That's according to Reuters.com. Fourteen of the patients at the area hospitals are Thai. Eight are British, five are Iranians, and four are German. There are also survivors from Ireland and Australia. Some of you, our viewers, are sending in your own stories and images of this crash. I reporter Mona J. Rana submitted these pictures taken with his own digital camera. He and his wife had passed through the airport on a motorcycle just 10 or 20 minutes after the crash to get a better view. They rode over to a wooded area, a side road that runs along the airport. Mona J. is from Nepal and he runs a fashion business.